show your support. Like, share and subscribe. I am that British guy and welcome to my review of the free PlayStation Plus games for PS Vita in the month of September. Now there are already two videos that I've posted this month, one covering all the PlayStation 4 games and one covering all the PlayStation 3 games so please check those out as well. But for this video I'm just covering the two games that were released on the PS Vita so let's get started straight away. First up we have the game Hateful Boyfriend. Now brace yourself because this might get a little bit ranty. Right, now in this game you play as the only human that is part of an academy for gifted birds. Yeah, that's exactly what I... Now this isn't really explained as to why there is this Academy for Gifted Birds and it's also not really explained why you're a human at this Academy as well. It's all just very, very bizarre. Not only that, this has got to be the worst game I think I've ever played. You start up and you name your character and then for about an hour I was clicking X again and again and again and that's basically all i did for the whole game it just throws all this dialogue at you introduces you to a load of characters that are instantaneously forgettable because it throws so many at you in one go right at the beginning you've got no real time to take in who anyone is or what their relevance to you is and then it's just the worst dialogue in gaming history on it it's just terrible so yeah you start off on day one in this school and after being introduced to about five or six people straight away i was thinking right am i actually going to get to do anything in this game and there was a moment where somebody said that i needed to meet somebody else in the library and my first thought was, oh, OK, so we've got the kind of boring exposition out the way at the beginning of the game. I've met all the necessary important people. Now I get to go to the library, but on my way I can kind of roam around the school and maybe meet other people, side characters and, and sort of introduce myself to them and get to know them a bit better for what lies ahead. Obviously with the intention of not going straight to the library, but trying to explore the grounds of the school as much as I can, meet as many people as I can, see if there are any items to collect, anything like that, that might help me to learn as much about the world that I'd just been thrown into as possible, really. And then the screen faded to black and then faded into the library. It just teleported me there for another conversation well i say conversation it was basically the other character talking at me and the screens were just going by again and again and again and i wasn't really invested in any way and bothered to take anything in all i got from it was the library is very quiet no one comes here why does no one come to the library great then after that I teleport back to the classroom again and they say something about extracurricular activities, sport activities and at this point they mention three different things. I can't, I, one of them's track, I think one was dodgeball possibly and one was something else and I'm thinking right oh okay you pose the option of these three different things. Maybe I finally get to make some kind of contribution to this character and I get to pick one of these things and that will guide us down a certain route so that obviously next time you play you pick something different and you get different interactions. And uh, no. 
it just picked track for me for no reason that I could see. And this went on and on and on and on and on until finally I did get a three way choice as to whether to attend a class. No, that was it. It was three different classes, maths, gym and something else. And I chose math because it was on the top of the list and I couldn't be bothered to scroll down because I'd just become that lethargic. And then the screen kind of increased my stats. What I needed them for, I don't know. They were kind of weird RPG type stats like you get in, well, a Final Fantasy game or Persona or something. And... Yeah, quite why I needed my stats increased, I don't know, because there'd been no explanation as to what any of these stats were or how they were going to help. And, yeah, then the game went on a bit longer and I got another choice and, uh, yeah. And then I just got completely sick of it and stopped because it was just doing absolutely nothing for me and it was just throwing all this dialogue at me. None of it was voice acted either, so you couldn't just sort of sit back and just watch everything happen like a long cutscene in a game where you can just kind of put the controller down and then be fed all this information as it kind of washes over you and you take in as much as you can and sort of take that forward it was just click x x x x again and again and it just completely lost me so yeah that was hateful boyfriend or what should probably be called hateful boyfriend or hateful game because I despise the damn thing it was awful as I said to somebody I met today at work I paid nothing for the game and I still feel like I didn't get value for money that's the best way to sum this game up moving on to the other game we are doomed now this one isn't so bad because there was actually gameplay involved with this one but it felt very similar to most of the other PS Vita games that we've got free in recent months. It's basically a take on Space Invaders with a bit of a twist. So you're this blob thing in the middle of a space and there's these other things sort of whizzing around and you've got to avoid being hit by them whilst shooting them to blast them out of the map and then more waves of them turn up and some of them shoot back at you and you score points and that's it great here's a slightly revamped version of a game that is at least what 30 years old if not more mm. but at least this one had some gameplay but it was very repetitive and very boring. So, yeah. Woo! So, moving on to Buy, Try or Fly. These are the two games again and their retail values. As you can see, both of them retail on PS Store normally for seven ninety nine. And I think you probably already know where I'm going with both of these. Fly. As far away from these games as you possibly can. Now I know I said when I did my review of Handball that I couldn't wait to delete that because it was wasting space on my hard drive. Yeah, these ones I feel like they've actually sort of tarnished my computer. I kind of afflicted it with their presence. They were that bad. They've already been deleted and I really wish I had never bothered downloading them in the first place. It was a waste of time. I sure as hell would not pay for these games. If you're feeling a bit sadistic, by all means try them for yourself and just see if I'm exaggerating. But I don't think I am. But for the love of God, do not pay any money to play these two games. They are tedious to the nth degree. So there we go, they are my thoughts of the PS Vita games for the month of September. Admittedly, nowhere near as good as the PS4 and PS3 games that we were given this month, unfortunately. If you've tried either of these games, please let me know what you thought about them, especially if you quite enjoyed them, because maybe I'm missing something here, but I really don't think I am. 
maybe you can try and win me over, who knows. Next month I will maintain this format and do three separate videos for the PS4, PS3 and Vita games. I'm very excited because the PS4 is being headed up by Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain, which is a superb game which I got on release, so I'm very much looking forward to talking about that. Until that time, I have been that British guy and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.